Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me helping you assemble a first period survival kit and I'm basically going to be showing you what you should be including in your period kit. I'm guessing you're probably here because you either just got your first period and you want to know what supplies you will need to be prepared for having periods. <laughs> Or you haven't gotten your period yet and you're just nervous about it and you want to have the supplies to be prepared for when you get your period. So I thought that this video would be really helpful because for me, I looked up a lot of these videos and I also had my mom to tell me what you should have on hand at all times when you are... <laughs> Before we get into this video, please like this video and comment down below why you're here and before you even watch this video, what you think should be included in a period kit. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more period-related content and teen lifestyle content. I don't want to talk anymore, I want to help you assemble your first period survival kit and show you what to include in your first period survival kit. So let's get into the video. So first you have to decide whether or not you want your period kit to be portable or just something that you keep at home like in your closet or in a drawer or under your bed or something like that. So if you're assembling an at home period kit, I would recommend getting some sort of bin or a shoe box or just any kind of box, a storage container or even just like a bag that's like really big. It doesn't even really have to be that big. I would just make it kind of the size of a shoe box. And if you're assembling a portable period kit, then I would recommend something like a large makeup bag or a little pouch or like just some sort of container anything that can fit into a purse or something or a locker if you're going to school so for me I'm assembling a period kit that I can keep at home but you have to include the same supplies in your portable period kit as in your at home period kit so it's all the same no matter what kind of period kit you are making I have a bin right now and I found this bin like and it's already all packed up with all the period supplies as you can see in there so before I walk you through it I just wanted to show you you like the brief overview of what your period kit should kind of look like when it's all arranged of course I'm gonna take everything out and explain what everything is to you but for now this is what it looks like so I just thought I should show you so aesthetic isn't it <laughs> so the first thing that you should include in your period kit is of course Sorry, that was a really long toss. But of course you will need pads. It's literally the most basic thing that you should be including in your period kit. So I would recommend putting in around five pads. That's how many I have. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five, five. Five pads should be enough. Making a period kit is basically to ensure that when you get your period, even if it's not your first period, you will be prepared. So stacking in five pads means that even if you are out of pads, like in your bathroom or something like that, then you will have enough pads to probably make it through a day if you don't have an insanely heavy flow like myself. So now we are going to put these five pads inside the period kit. Next, you should include some panty liners. And I literally got a Ziploc bag to put them in because most panty liners don't come with like, they're not encased in a wrapper like pads are. So I wanted to keep them hygienic and clean and fresh. And so I just put them in a little Ziploc bag and labeled the Ziploc panty liners. And I again put around five in here. So it's good to include panty liners in your period kit if your flow is just starting off and it's not really heavy because when you get your first period or just even when you start your cycle in general, it's typically not that heavy like in the beginning of day one. So now we're going to put these in the kit. Next in our period kit, we are going to include two pairs of dark, clean underwear just in case. I apologize for whatever that noise was. It is always smart to have extra pairs of underwear in either your portable or at home period kit because just in case you stain, obviously you're going to need clean underwear if you stain when you're out of the house. But even if you're in the house and you don't have any clean underwear doing laundry, it's always good to tuck away a couple pairs of extra underwear in case you stain the pair of underwear you are already wearing with the period blood that will be pouring out of your body. So now we're going to fold these up and put them in our period kit. Now, this next item that you should be including in your period kit is something that I feel like no one tells you to have on hand when you're menstruating, and that is a Ziploc to hold the stained underwear. I feel like no one ever brings that up. Everyone's always like, okay, bring extra pairs of underwear, but where are you supposed to put the stained underwear? So I think it is very smart to always have with you, either in your portable or at home period kit, a Ziploc bag that is labeled for stained underwear. We're going to put this Ziploc in our period kit. 
what to include in your period kit is wipes. I have no idea why my family buys so many wipes, but we just have them and you should have them too. This again relates back to staining because if it's a fresh stain or a stain that you feel like you can just get out with a wipe. I've heard of wipes that can like literally remove stains like the second you wipe them on the stain. So just make sure to include some wipes in your period kit. This doesn't only help for stains like on cloth, like on your underwear, but I think we can all admit that sometimes like the blood gets on like the inside of our thigh and so you'll really want something to like wipe that off. So if you're putting wipes in your portable period kit, maybe get a pack that isn't as big. But if it's an at home period kit, then make sure to stock up and get a big pack like this one. So now we're going to put these wipes in our period kit. So please don't make fun of the mermaid wallet that I've had since I was like But this is something that you might not think about and that is especially important to include in a portable period kit And that is to have some change on hand because if <laughs> Make you pay for products that should be free to you because they are literally a necessity I have no idea why public bathrooms give out toilet paper for free But they don't give out pads or tampons for free, but there's literally nothing you can do about it for now So it's always smart to have change on hand I've saved up a ton of change in here as you can see and so it is always smart to have on hand some change so that you can pay <laughs> Four pads and tampons if you catch yourself unprepared when you get your period and buying pads and tampons from a public bathroom is your last resort Make sure to have some change on hand. So now we're gonna put this in our period So now we're going to put this in our period kit The next thing to include in your period kit would be a bottle of water because I've gone over this in a lot of other period tips videos that I've done but hydrating is so so, so important when you are on your period for many reasons and all of them have been backed up by research And honestly, it could be summed up into saying when you're losing a lot of blood You need to drink water to replenish those fluids that you are losing So make sure to always have a bottle of water inside of your period kit so that you cannot forget to drink water when you get your period So now let's put this bottle of water in our period kit the next thing to include in our period kit is some hand sanitizer and not just because we are still in a But because obviously if you're always changing your pad and dealing with blood you want to be hygienic Nothing against like period blood. It's actually very clean But obviously you don't want like blood on your hands or like to feel dirty on your hands from changing your pad all the time So make sure to have some hand sanitizer on hand Obviously if you're at home you should be washing your hands after you use the bathroom But you should especially pack some hand hand sanitizer in your period kit if this is a portable period kit like if you'll take it out with you because sometimes public bathroom sinks are like really gross so it's just always good to have some hand sanitizer on hand to stay fresh and clean when you're always changing your pad so now let's put this hand sanitizer in our period kit the next thing that I'm about to tell you to include in your period kit is something that you should not be including in your period kit if you are under 18 and you have not cleared it with your parent or guardian and that is some Tylenol or Motrin or Advil or any kind of pain reliever but if you are under 18 as I said you should not be taking any medication unless your doctor or your parent or guardian tells you that it is okay to this is for your health and safety and to make sure that you don't misuse it or take it wrong but if you are over 18 then just make sure to read the directions really carefully because taking medication is no joke guys have cleared it with your parent or guardian or doctor or you are over 18 and you know how to use Tylenol, Motrin, Advil, any kind of pain reliever then feel free to include it in your period kit because I have to take it almost <laughs> on my period because not only does it help with the annoying period pains you're going to be getting like cramps and back pain and all of that but did you know that Motrin and Advil actually kind of thins out your blood so it can kind of reduce the amount of blood you lose It's really cool actually So if you're on the go and your cramps or period back pain is interfering with your daily like Then it is always smart if you really can't handle it to take some medication so that you can feel pain free Or if you're at home obviously you don't want to be in pain while you're trying to relax when you're on your period So having some medication on hand in your period kit is probably the smart thing to do Tylenol usually works pretty well for me Motrin also also works for me. I don't think I've ever really taken Advil because that's stronger than Tylenol and Motrin. I take these medications under supervision by my mom. She's actually the one who like doles out the pills for me. So yeah, let's put this in our period kit. Something else you should include in your period kit is a box of tissues because it's a stereotype but it's also scientifically and through research been proven that you are really emotional when you're on your period because of <laughs> And so you might cry, you might get so angry to the point of crying, or you might just feel like a 
worse and so if you do end up crying which is completely normal because the same hormones that are causing your blood to flow and causing you all the other annoying period symptoms are the same ones that could make you more emotional which could cause you to cry more so having a box of tissues on hand to dry your tears and blow your nose and everything that you will need to do if you are crying is good to pack in your period kit again if this is a portable period kit then get like a little travel size pack of tissues but if this is an at home period kit then feel free to include a large box of tissues so yeah let's put these in our period kit and the last thing that you should be including in your period kit is chocolate It has been literally proven, I know I keep saying this, but literally every single thing I am telling you to put in this period kit has been proven to help relieve the pain and stress of having a period. But chocolate literally is proven to help reduce the pain of periods and PMS symptoms and to reduce cramps because dark chocolate contains serotonin or like antioxidants or something. I'll put any research that I find about it right here. Make sure that it's dark chocolate. For me, I am including these amazing chocolate chips in my period kit. They are dark chocolate chocolate baking chips actually I'm really weird I don't include like actual chocolate bars I would much prefer to eat like it is 72% cocoa and if you want it to reduce your period pains and symptoms and improve your mood then I would recommend getting chocolate with 70% or more cocoa because dark chocolate as I said has been scientifically proven to help better than like milk chocolate or chocolate that has less than 70% of cocoa in it don't let anyone tell you that you should not be having chocolate when you are on your period because chocolate is literally so good for you when you are on your period I will link some articles that I find on this down below and you can show those articles to anyone who says that you should not be eating tons of chocolate when you are on your period good to have some chocolate on hand in your period kit. If this is a portable period kit, then maybe try including like an actual chocolate bar and not baking chocolate. But if you're packing an at-home period kit, then feel free to include whatever kind of chocolate you love the most. However, if you have any pets that could access the chocolate, chocolate is very poisonous to many animals and they could die while eating it. So don't leave your period kit like on the floor of your closet or anywhere where an animal could access it. Because if they tear into the bag and eat the chocolate, that would be very bad. And I do not want to be responsible for you losing your beloved pet so make sure that if you are including chocolate in your period kit make sure it is out of reach from any animals that could eat it and get sick from it if you just really feel sick or like crampy or back pain or like the blood flowing out of you 24 7 is just really doing the opposite of lifting your spirits then lift your spirits with chocolate just take some chocolate chips or a bite of a chocolate bar so yeah let's put this last object of our period kit <laughs> And here is again our finished period kit now that I have repacked it. So again, we will just go over all the objects that you should be including in your period kit. At least five pads, at least five panty liners, chocolate, change, wipes, clean underwear, a Ziploc to put any stained underwear in, tissues, pain reliever, hand sanitizer, and a bottle of water. So yeah, here is our finished period kit. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it and I really hope that I was able to help you through making this video. I love helping you guys out with my videos, especially my period videos because I feel like making period videos helps a lot of you out. When I first got my period, as I said at the beginning of this video, I looked up a ton of these videos and I never actually like packed a period kit. So let me know down below if you followed along with me and packed all these things into a period kit or if you were writing down everything that you should include in your period kit. I would just really love to know if the stuff that I provide to you in this video was helpful to you if you are stressing about not being prepared for having your first period or if you've had a period for a while and you just feel like you for whenever you get your period then I really hope that this was able to ease some of your but honestly you really don't need all of this stuff to have as comfortable periods as possible just make sure that you have the necessities and then you'll be fine I totally believe in you you are going to be awesome with having periods and if you already have periods then I really hope that this was able to help you feel more prepared and I actually think that I'm going to keep this period kit under my bed or in a shelf in my closet somewhere because it's honestly just so helpful to have on hand a kit full of everything that you will need to minimize stress and discomfort when you are bleeding and gushing blood out of your body. Before you leave, please like this video. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below dark chocolate because dark chocolate is something that I mentioned in this video that is very important to minimize discomfort when you are on your period. And I would just like to know if you actually made it to the end of this video because
because I feel like all my videos are boring and no one really makes it to the end. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more, as I said, period-related content, teen lifestyle-related content. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it, and I love you guys. Bye!